Okay, I'm going to do a walkthrough of a hypothesis test with paired samples in SPSS. And uh, this procedure is sometimes referred to differently depending on what book you look in. Uh, it may be called a related samples. It may be called matched pairs or matched samples. Uh, sometimes it's called a repeated measures test. All right, and in paired samples, uh, we choose sample data at random. Uh, and we're essentially testing the same variable under different conditions. All right, so it might be something like tip size when you go out to a restaurant, and you might expect that the tip size is the same irrespective of whether your server is a male or a female. All right, so we can run a test on that. All right, a lot of times this kind of test is used uh, in medication so maybe a before and after of say something like a weight loss drug we can take the same patients measure their weight before taking the drug and then after some period of time on the drug uh, we can weigh them again to see if uh, there is some kind of weight loss so in our example what i'm going to do is i've made up some data about some medical tests and it's the same medical test uh, but at a different hospital. All right, so we might expect that they're, they cost about the same regardless of the hospital since it's the same test. All right, so this is going to be our null hypothesis that they cost the same. The alternative is that there's some kind of measurable difference, all right, and it's bigger than zero. Since we have no reason to believe that, you know, one hospital is, you know, charges more than the other, uh, this is going to be a two-tailed test. All right, and so for paired samples, uh, we write the hypothesis or the hypotheses like this. All right, so the null is that there is no difference, and since there, this is a two-tailed test, uh, the alternative is that, well, there is a difference. All right, and so in general, this means we're going to reject the null for large positive or negative mean differences, and we're going to do that with a t-test. All right, so you can calculate t by taking the mean difference between the, the testing amounts, uh, subtract off the, uh, the mean difference uh, under the null hypothesis, which in this case is zero, okay? And then we're gonna divide that by the uh, standard error. So we're gonna get the, uh, this and the standard deviation uh, from the sample data, all right? And obviously the, the sample size from the sample data. All right, one more thing, when you're doing a matched pairs test, uh, it's going to require that both samples be the same size. Okay, so with that, I think we're ready to go in and take a look at SPSS. So here's our data, and I've just sort of made up some procedures. I've called them, you know, A through G here, so I haven't really given them a name. All right, and then I've recorded uh, the dollar amounts that the hospital charges to administer uh, each of these tests. All right, so to do the paired samples test, we're going to need to go to the analyze menu. All right, we're going to look for compare means and then I'm going to find paired samples. Okay, so we're doing a pretty simple one with, uh, you know, small samples. Uh, I'm going to select this East Jibang Wang Hospital and then I'm going to select Podunk and send that over. All right, so we have a very small simple data set, but uh, we would be able to in a bigger data set with more variables uh, conduct multiple tests simultaneously if we wanted. All right, I'm going to click in options. There isn't a lot to do in here. All right, if you want to uh, do something about excluding missing values or things like that, uh, you can you can choose one of these options here. Uh, if you want a different size confidence interval to be calculated, uh, you can enter that value here. I'm going to leave it at 95. I'm going to click continue. All right, and then I'm going to click OK, and it's going to do all the work for us. Okay, so we can see here's the output from the paired samples test, and it calculates a mean and standard deviation and standard error for each of the variables. All right, so we can see by looking at it here that, well, it looks like East Jibang Wang is bigger. The question is, is that about $80 difference? significantly uh, different from zero enough to conclude that well it costs more to get things done at East Jibangaway. Okay, uh, the next little table we have here is a correlation and uh, we're not going to really use that here. 
Okay, but you may use it in other uh, in other settings. We can see here that oh, the test data is highly correlated. All right, so for each matched pair, if we were to graph that on a scatter plot, uh, we would see a strong positive relationship there. Right? Not necessarily true uh, in all in all data. Okay, so down here is kind of the, the meat of what we're interested in. And there's that $80 difference, and then the, uh, the standard deviation of the $80 difference, and plus uh, the standard error. Okay, so if I just take the mean and divide it by the standard error, I'm going to get that T over there. All right, so the equation that I described uh, in the opening slides. All right, so we get a T of 4.2. All right, by itself, it's kind of hard to interpret that with a really small sample size. It's possible that a T of 4.2 isn't significant, all right, but we do have a p-value over here, and if we compare p-value to our 0 0.05 level of significance, okay, we can see that the p is smaller than that 0 0.05, and so then we would be able to reject the null. All right, and so then conclude that there is a difference uh, in the prices of tests uh, across these two hospitals. All right, and, and the p-value also turns out to be the lowest level of significance we can reject at. So even if we had a level of significance of 0 0.01, we would still be rejecting the null here. All right, and then the last thing they give you is a confidence interval of that difference. And so with 95% confidence, we're pretty sure then that the real difference, all right, if I were to uh, expand these results out to the population of uh, different tests that you can get done at these hospitals, is somewhere between $33 and $126 on average. Okay, so I hope that helps with running a paired samples t-test in SPSS.